everyone. I am Dr. Pat Cosentino, the superintendent of Region 12 Schools, and I am here today for an informational show on our new parent portal. It's part of PowerSchool that's going to be introduced to our parents in the community uh, next week, uh, the week of January 20th. Uh, parent portal is part of PowerSchool, which is our student database which does many things for our school system. First of all, it houses all of the information about students, including family information and emergency contacts, health information. It then also uh, is our way of keeping attendance in the schools, uh, which of course is important. Uh, at the middle high school, it is used um, for grades, um, where teachers can now um, use uh, Power Teacher to put grades in their grade book, which then leads to Power, uh, excuse me, Parent Portal for parents and students so that they can now have access to their grades in um, a convenient way. So I'm here today with Mrs. Karen Files and Mr. Todd Dyer, and they are going to walk us through the implementation. Um, what you need to know as a parent and as a student so that you're ready and uh, up to date with the information you need so that next week you can start uh, accessing Parent Portal and seeing grades and attendance online. So welcome to the show. I know it's going to be very um, informational for you. We'll start with Karen Files. Well, we are very excited about the Parent Portal opening. Um, as our community members know, we've actually been using PowerSchool consistently with our teachers and with scheduling since last year, and our teachers actually started the beginning of the year with it. So they have been using the system since the beginning of the school year for attendance and for grading, and we're just now ready to open it up to the world and to start having our parents have access to uh, see their students' grades and attendance. Um, Todd, who is our head of guidance, will be talking to you a little bit more about what we want parents to, to use the portal for. I'm here to talk a little bit about the implementation and how you're actually going to get the information that you need to get into the system. So to start with, Parent Portal is completely web-based, so it's accessible through any computer or mobile device. It, they have an app that works beautifully on the iPhone, on an Android phone, on an iPad, so you can really have access to it with any connection to the internet. Um, it will work on all different browsers, so you don't have to worry about having a specific type of computer at home. Um, what's going to happen is later this week on Friday, we will be mailing out letters to all of our parents. That letter is very important because that letter will include uh, access codes to access and set up your accounts. It will also include detailed instructions for setting up your access um, account to get into the system. Parent Portal is very secure. It will only allow you to see your students' information. However, a, ch a parent that has multiple children within the system can log in with a single login to access all of their children at once from grades 6 to 12. I do want to make sure that our parents understand that Parent Portal is only active for grades 6 through 12. Um, at it, this point, at maybe this point. in the future, exactly. we will, um, so bring in the other So students. for this point, if you have multiple children but they're in the other schools, you'll really only have access to the children in this building. Uh, it is a secure system, so you will need to set up an account and you will have to have that access code information. I do want to point out that for security reasons, we will not give out the access information over the telephone. If for whatever reason you do not receive the letter or if you uh, lose it and need a password reset, you will need to either come into the school or you will have to have us email or mail you another copy of it. So one thing we do want to make sure that parents do is Keep in mind that if you've, if you've moved or if you have a new phone number, those things really need to be reported to the office regularly so that the system is communicating to you in the proper channel. So if your email address is not correct, for example, it won't be correct when you use the system. So this week you will be receiving, we're sending them out Friday, so early next week you'll be receiving a letter in the mail that has the instructions and the access codes. The system will open up for you on Thursday, January 23rd, which coincides with the first day of quarter two, quarter three mm -hmm. here at Chapag. So at that, at that day, you'll be able to set up your accounts, you'll be able to access the system and log in for the first time. Now to help our parents get some information on how to actually use the system, we're gonna be running some workshops for our parents next week. 
on Tuesday, we're going to be offering two sessions. One of them will be during the day from 12 o'clock to 12.30 p.m. here at Chapag. And then we'll have another one that evening from 6 o'clock to 6.30 p.m. here again at Chapag. We're going to run the session again on, in the morning on Friday from 8 o'clock to 8.30. Just so that you understand what these workshops will do, we're gonna actually have our parents look at the system. We're gonna have some um, live information for you to see so you know what it looks like when you get in. You will not, however, be able to activate your accounts until the 23rd. So these are meant more to introduce you to the system and how to use it. Um, Todd and I will both be doing a presentation to the Board of Education on Monday, January 27th. That is at 7 p.m. here at Chapag. Uh, that will be filmed just like all of our other Board of Education meetings, so you'll be able to see that on both our YouTube channel and Channel 17. So if you're unable to attend, you'll be able to see it then. And then in addition, the following week, once the system is live, the week of the 27th, we are going to have walk-in sessions where if parents want to come to Chapag, they can actually come in and I will sit with them and I will help you set up your accounts, give you a personal walkthrough for the system. We have some setup times, which I'm going to put up on the screen now, and I'll just tell you they're Monday, 7.30 to 8.30, Tuesday, 2 p.m. to 3 p.m., Wednesday, 8.30 to 9.30 a.m., Friday, 7.30 to 8.30 a.m., but please also know that you are available to come in by appointment if you email me at fieldsk at region-12.org or if you call my office at 860-868-7326, extension 5557, we can set up a time that works to your schedule. Great, so Todd, our head of guidance here, uh, is going to talk to you a little bit about how parents can use the system with their children. All right, so um, when we talk about PowerSchool, one of the, the most important features about PowerSchool is the ability for students and parents to be able to access the information um, of how they're doing in their uh, school years, in their classes, and how they're progressing through. And so I'm really excited for the parent portal to be opening, for the opportunities it provides our students and parents to be able to really keep track of how they're doing on a more regular basis. Um, as a uh, parent myself, uh, my, my son really enjoyed power school and became um, much more engaged in his education at his high school through its use by being able to check on his assignments, be able to see how his progress was, and to open up a conversation with his teachers in a way that he hadn't before about um, his progress. Mm -hmm. And so I think once the parent portal opens um, next week, you know, our encouragement is that you really take this on as something uh, on a regular basis that you're gonna be logging into. Uh, we read a couple screenshots. One of the first screenshots that you're gonna see um, in, uh, would be on what it will look like when you log in to your student's um, schedule. And when you look at um, his, the current grades and attendance, you will see the classes listed, and you'll also see the quarter breakdown, quarter one, quarter two, the semester, and you can see in each class what the grade currently is for that um, existing quarter. You can also see the historical grades as they go through the year, and you can also see below the schedule and the grades the current GPA that's listed for in that historical um, record. And um, you know, one of the things that I find really um, important for kids and parents to be doing is to check on a regular basis, to get into a habit and routine where you're reviewing their current progress. And Parent Portal opens up that opportunity that really didn't exist to you before to see on a day-to-day -day or a weekly basis. Um, our recommendation would be once a week uh, when you start out. And as you, you have your student become more responsible and really engaged in their own education, you may be able to pull away as a parent, um, especially if you have a very mature and responsible student. Once you get into the, um, the initial screen, you can actually click on the grades in the quarter that exists and you can see a breakdown on those scores of how that student is doing and see um, from a teacher standpoint you know where those grades are valued at how your student is doing on their formative their interim and their summative um, grade points and maybe some places that they need to focus on or areas that they're really strong in and so i do encourage to really dig into that data a little bit more by going into their actual grades when you see something concerning or something that's exciting and you really wanna see how your student is doing in each of those areas, okay? So that's really a, a little look back on the grade piece. The other thing that's really important to be doing is looking at the attendance and making sure that the attendance um, 
you know, matches with what your understanding is, when, especially if you see some, um, like say there's five days and you think that your son or daughter has only been out four, to take a look at that and maybe see what dates come up and see if that maybe was a day that you had overlooked um, and to look into that. As we move forward, you know, if there are questions that arise, we encourage you, especially with the grades for specific classes, to reach out to that specific teacher. Um, that would be your first stop um, in that conversation, is to reach out to the teacher either through email or through um, phone, although email we find is the best way to reach the teachers directly. Um, and the same question would be about a, an anomaly with the attendance. If you find that there's a class that you thought your son or daughter was in, um, you know, within that time frame on that day, and it looks like something isn't right for that one day, uh, we would ask you to reach out to the teacher directly. If you notice a trend that there seems to be something amiss, we do encourage you to reach out to the counselors for grades and to Mr. Paracci for attendance if it looks like it's a larger issue as a whole, especially if you notice a drop in grades um, from one quarter to the next and also if you notice that there's quite a few missing um, attendance records or some pieces of, of the attendance that you find are, are bigger issues than just one class, uh, Mr. Paracci would be the person to reach out to. Um, I'm really excited for the opening of the portal and I know that it will really be a tool uh, that you'll find useful for the parents and for the students. With any tool, it's really only as useful as you use it, so we encourage you to make uh, full use of it. There's one other piece that I just want to add that I had um, wanted to make sure our parents knew, and one of the nice features that PowerSchool has is that you have the ability when you log in as a parent to set up automatic email reports. So if you find that it's easier for you to set PowerSchool up to automatically send you weekly or monthly reports on your child, you can actually have the system set up to do that. It's quite simple. And you can have it sent to multiple addresses. So if you want it to send to both mom and dad, you can do that. So it's a, it's a nice feature to the system. Absolutely. Well, you know, I've used PowerSchool in my former life, as you have, and you mentioned your son. Um, people love it. Teachers yep. love it, parents love it, most students love it. Mm -hmm. Um, but in any new tool or any new uh, system, there is always a transition. So I ask everyone to really, you know, give it a couple of weeks before, you know, you start hounding your child and saying what's going on. The teachers are also getting used to putting in their grades, making sure they're there in a timely fashion. Um, sometimes, you know, a teacher in a personal life may have an issue and hasn't gotten to Mark Lowe's English papers or whatever, so, you know, that does happen. Um, as you said, I think if they have questions or concerns, they should contact either the teacher by email, certainly Mrs. Gallo, Mr. Paracci, the guidance counselors. If they have technical questions about yes. Power School, Karen is the person to do so. Um, we really are very, very excited about it. I think um, parents are going to really find it very useful, as students will too. Yeah, I wanted to just add, because I think we both forgot to mention that um, we're doing the parent rollout now, but in conjunction with this as right. well, uh, the counselors will be visiting the classrooms mm -hmm. to walk the students through how they will be accessing, right. because the students actually have a separate login mm -hmm. than the parents, so they can independently be checking into the system as well. So we didn't forget the kids, they're actually coming along as well. Absolutely. and we've been Work with the teachers yes. for many months yes. um, but in, in regards to the students also as a parent what you want to do is encourage your students to take ownership in their learning and in their grades and to advocate for themselves when they do see something maybe they have a question about to go to the teacher and say listen you know I handed this in or I why did I get this Absolutely. grade or I was here or whatever it is so that they get used to that conversation and standing up for themselves so that when they do go off to college or to a job or wherever they go, um, they have that skill. Because that's hard for s children to do, students. It takes a while to be able to talk to somebody and question something they see in a respectful way. But certainly no one is, is perfect. And, and um, it's a process. This is a process. And we see this as a natural progression to the digital environment that the students are going to be living in as they leave us and go off to the college campuses. Because they will be dealing with some variety of a program that's going to be very similar to this in terms of their grading and their um, assignments. And so I think that's a great conversation uh, for them to understand that now is the time to do that. Exactly. As they build that rapport with their teachers and really get into the conversation about their learning. 
Exactly. It's oh, what I always tell parents, it's always easier to have your students uh, learn these things and make their little mistakes when you're around and they're living in your house as opposed to when they're off to college and you're paying $50,000 a year and uh, you, know, you don't see them for three months. So I think it's definitely a tool that everyone is going to um, enjoy. I want to thank the Board of Education for supporting this initiative. They were very supportive in this. I want to thank the staff and the administration um, of this building, Shapag, for really uh, embracing it and working hard to make it success. I want to thank Todd and his staff and Karen and her tech group for helping as um, much as we needed and will need, I'm sure, and making this rollout very successful. Uh, keep watching our TV shows. We're going to be doing more. We're in our beautiful new TV studio. Um, a lot more shows are going to be happening. So I am Pat Cosentino, Superintendent of Region 12. Uh, thank you, and remember every day to practice an attitude of gratitude. Take care.